Welcome back, folks, and how are y'all doing? Yeah, today we've got a kitchen gadget. It's getting a little cooler outside, so it's time to come inside. And, folks, if you've watched my channel before, Tom Horseman YouTube, you know that I do a lot of reviews, love my kitchen gadgets, and it takes a lot to impress me because I've seen it all. And there's a lot of things out there that are just the remake of the same old, the same old, the same old. This thing, though, is from a company called GA Home Favor. And this thing's brand new on the market. And I'm going to be leaving the links down below and all that. But this thing really piqued my interest. Because not only can this thing do the, the average air fry and broil and bake, but this thing can do pizza. In fact, this thing is so devoted to doing pizza, they give you a pizza stone and a peel. But this thing is also high heat. And uh, that's what's always impressed me or disappointed me about past units that I've done where they talk about, hey, this thing, and it gets only maybe 400 degrees. This thing, <laughs> this thing, see, high heat, 750, 800 right in there. We're, we're going to test it all out. I'm going to show you where you can get this. We're going to talk about all the specifics, take a look at the inside. And you know what? I've got just, just a frozen pizza. We're going to make it on here and find out how well it works. Let's get started. All right, so down in the description, I will leave two links. I'll leave an Indigo link because this is going to come out on Indigo first, I believe. But I'm also going to leave the GA Home Favor uh, official website so you can take a look at it yourself. Uh, let's open it up and take a closer look. All right, before we open it up, let's talk about dimensions. Uh, let's talk about power. This is 1800 watts. It does run off of 110. You see our front dimensions here is uh, 18. Our height and that's to this this is a vent right here it's about 16 now remember that if you're going to be uh using this like under some cabinets you're going to have to give yourself a couple inches of of space there for it to keep cool this thing is like triple insulated so you know i i did um i did preheat it just to see and this was you could touch it got warm uh the total length here is uh, to handle here is 19 inches so uh there's there's your dimensions uh let's uh take a look at the inside you know, the control panel's right here and we'll, we'll get into that but the first thing i do when i look at the door is look at that door now i want to show you my oven here at home notice anything i mean this is a real door this is a real like a, almost like an oven door triple insulated you got stainless steel on the inside you've got this clear view uh, window right here so when you're cooking you can see what's going on there is a light in there and you can see the light in the back see it right back there and uh i know this thing's gonna do good for heating because it's got an upper right there and a lower heating element that whole inside is uh, stainless steel. Let's do the dimensions of the inside. So this is one of your cooking grates, and we'll just measure that because that's a true indication of what your cooking space is. So the depth is about, uh, let's just call it almost 13 inches. And then your width is 13 inches. They're, they're saying, uh, I don't know what they're saying for capacity here. I think it's like uh, 20 liters or something like that, but there's tons of capacity in there. Uh, if you're wondering about pizza size, the peel is a 12 inch peel. So you can use this entire area to do a 12 inch pizza. So accessories, you can see it does come with a pizza peel. And here is your pizza stone. Now that would go on top of the rack, goes in just like that. And, and obviously something like this, you're gonna wanna preheat a little bit. So it fits in just like that. Then you would use your peel. Now that would come off and then you would put, this is your air fry basket that would go on top of that. And then there's your uh, bacon broil and this got a nonstick coating on it. That would go in there too. And make sure before you use all this that you wash it real good with some soap and water. And like I said, before you do any cooking in here, turn it on, uh, I, I did mine on air fry 425 for about 20 minutes, just to burn any in, anything that would be in there out of there. So you don't get that in your food. All right, so you can see the inside, that whole thing is stainless steel. So relatively easy uh, cleanup. There is a fan up above. You can see the venting right there. And that pushes the air down. That's what would be on for the air fry function. All right, so this does have a, it's a pretty, pretty in-depth uh, owner's manual here. Talks about everything, talks about how to use touchpad. We'll go through that. There's a one-year warranty. It talks about that in the uh, very back, if you're wondering about that. Uh, as far as assembly, there was, really was, everything came boxed real nice, and there's, just take it out of the box. Like I said, make sure you wash everything up. Um, it has a power sleep button, so when everything goes blank here after about 10 minutes and it'll shut off, the, the revise, you just press the power button. It defaults to pizza right away, and you can see where I've frozen, and that's what we're going to be doing today. It's just a, a frozen pizza, but uh, 
it's got all the other features here, steak feature. And then you can go into the menu, you can go into time temp, adjust that, you can see 550, bake uh, 320, but you can adjust that. Air fry 450, roast, broil. If you're wondering about the high temp, now the high temp comes in when it's a pizza. And uh, I think what you do here, and I haven't played with this a lot here, is that you just hold, Yeah, right there. You just hold the high temp button. And then that gives you, a, look at it, 750. So for New Haven style pizza, uh, for tavern style pizza at 570, New York style pizza, pizza at 660, and Neapolitan at 750. That's crazy that that thing would get to 750. But uh, we just want to try it out with uh, some frozen pizza. So let's get it set up for frozen pizza and uh, see how it works. All right, got it preheating. You can see we're on frozen pizza. I did bump the temp up a little bit, uh, a little over 400. This calls for 425, uh, 20 minutes. If you want to adjust that, you just press the time temp button and then you use this to adjust it. And it's pretty cool that uh, it's got this uh, temp gauge built right in there that shows you what the current temp is in there. And then when it gets to its preset, like I said, I think I got it set at 410. When it gets up to 410, then it'll beep and say, hey, are you ready? The, count, the, the timer won't start until you press the start stop again, which is pretty cool because it gives you time to preheat. And it goes up pretty quick here. You see we're already at 160 and just in the time we're talking, which is cool. I've never really seen this on a device like this that can air fry and it can roast and bake and do steak. And this thing you, you saw, it can get up to 750, which is crazy let's uh keep on going make our pizza all right <clears throat> all right that didn't take long it's beeping it's telling me that it's preheated we've got uh just our, our little pizza here and we're gonna put that in right in the center there and then we're just gonna press start and uh, that starts the clock rolling now 20 minutes might be a little bit too much but first time using it we'll see how it goes all right, I forgot to show you what the stone was at. So let's take a look at the stone. I got my thermal here. So the stone, that's impressive. The heat heated the stone up that fast. I wasn't expecting that. Pretty cool. Good job. All right, it's only been seven minutes. Hell, it's bubbling up. I'm tempted to take a look at it. So let's... Uh, said we've never cooked on this. Yeah, look at that. That's, uh, oh yeah, the, yeah, can you see the bottom? Bottom's crusting up. I, I think just a couple more minutes and uh, we'll have a perfect pizza. Keep going, give you a look-see. All right, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. So we'll, uh, it's on the cardboard, give this a couple minutes to cool, and then we'll give you a look-see. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna turn it off. Now it's gonna go through a cool down cycle where it just runs the fan and then it'll, it'll shut the fan off all by itself. So we'll uh, give you a look-see at the final product. All right, let's try the pizza. Oh man. All right, pizza is absolutely delicious. That one was hot and fast pizza. And I can't wait to try it out with some of the other modes that are on there. Uh, as it cools down, you had to press the power button to cool it down. So uh, mistake on my fault there, but I'm just a beginner on this, like you would be. And this thing is really kind of cool. I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. High temperature oven. There's a lot of them out there that claim to be high temperature. This thing's the real deal. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with that. And you know what? I can't wait to try it out on somebody. Can you imagine taking that stone out of there and putting some cast iron in there? Putting that pizza setting on, getting it the 750, preheating that cast iron and doing some cast iron seared steak in there. Think about how blackened you could do steak on that. Oh, <laughs> man. I will be trying that out. So that's pretty cool. I'll leave the links down below. GA Home Favor. Uh, this thing's the real deal. Works very well. Tom Horseman on YouTube. He works very well, too. Just for you to bring you new products just like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. Leave a comment. And as always, leave the links down below to this stuff. Thanks for watching, folks.